So what we have here is an example of a gas orifice capacity sizing chart. On some gas furnaces, appliances, they may come with a a chart kind of kind of similar to this. It may look a little bit different. Uh, your national fuel gas code book uh, definitely will have a gas sizing chart for all different types of appliances with different specific gravities uh, and, and flow rates and stuff like that. So you can look at uh, the the deal. Uh, you, so you can definitely research your your different flow rates. But this one here, I just kind of want to go over a little bit on how to actually read uh, a gas flow rate uh, sizing chart, gas orifice sizing chart. So you can kind of look at this and and kind of almost get a, a, an idea of how it's actually used. On the left, you have your drill size or your orifice uh, size uh, on the left here, corresponding numbers. Uh, some uh, some gas sizing charts will give you a decimal equivalent of what the drill size is. This one does. Not every one of them will, but some of them do. Then you have across the top your your gas pressures. So for natural gas, we have 3.0 all the way up to 7.0. Now, mind you, there's different gas furnaces out there that use different gas pressures, okay? Residential, we're using 3.5 inches of water column. Uh, and then over on the very right-hand side, you have your LP gas uh, set for 11 inches of, of water column. So how do we use this particular type of of furnace of of of, of chart? Sorry, had a scratchy eye there. Sorry, it's um, really relatively easy. First off, you you need to know the specific gravity of of the gas that you're dealing with, and you also need to know the gas pressure that you're dealing with. So let's look at uh, natural gas. We'll say we're working on a residential gas-fired furnace and we are using three and a half inches of water column for our manifold pressure. And we want to see how many BTUs per burner that we are putting out. Okay. I must also add, you need to know the orifice size that you're dealing with. So you're going to have to look at the orifice inside the furnace, either with a magnet, with some sort of mirror or something, so and read the number that is stamped on it. So let's go down and let's we'll, let's say we're going to find that we have an orifice that is sized for uh, a 45. We have a 45. Uh, sized orifice inside that furnace and we want to know how many BTUs is coming out of that particular uh, burner. So we find 45 over here on the on the left hand side and we um, start where's where's 45? 45 is right here. Okay so we find 45 we know that 3.5 inches of water column was in this this column here. So all you really do is you cross reference 45 and slide over. So in this case we have 17,072 BTUs are coming out of that particular uh, burner. Okay, so now we can actually take that number and multiply it by the number of burners that you have in that particular piece of equipment. So let's say you have a residential furnace and you have four burners. Assuming that each one of those burners is a 45 orifice, you can take 17,072 and times it by four and it will give you the total BTU output 
for that particular piece of equipment. And you can compare that to the output rating on the furnace itself. Okay, so you can use this chart to size your orifices. Okay, now come and say that you find a, a furnace that might be over firing. So you have something that's in there that may have someone maybe went and, and did a, U, a YouTube research and tried to do it themselves and they put the wrong orifice size in. And you have a furnace that might be over firing. You can use this chart to figure out what the orifice size should be, but you can also use this chart to figure out if you can if you have to lower the gas pressure or you may have to raise the gas pressure on a on a on a furnace okay because if you look on a 45 furnace uh, 45 sized orifice and we said that we wanted to lower the gas pressure say we wanted to go to 3.0 for a manifold pressure. If we changed it from 3.5 down to 3.0, my, my orifice will now be putting out 15,896 for a BTU output. Okay? And if we needed to raise it, we can do so by simply raising the gas pressure. Okay, so if I went up to 4.0 with a 45 orifice, I'm now putting out 18,251 per burner. Okay, and if I needed to take this furnace and it was being converted to propane, okay, say I have a 17,072 like I started off with, and I needed to get my BTUs per burner at 17,072, I would actually come down and find my closest burner side, my burner orifice to about 17,000. In this case, if I'm looking at it, I really don't want to go any higher than 17,000 because if I did that, I would be using a 55. I may want to use a 3 three sixty fourths for my orifice size and then just simply adjust my pressure to compensate for my my lack of BTUs. I might want to raise it a little bit. Obviously this chart here won't show you that because it only goes up to eleven inches of water column for LP but if you have a, a more in-depth uh, chart, you will be able to see what you would actually have to raise the pressure to to get it close to what your initial uh, orifice rating that you're actually looking for.